What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to a review, a review that I had no fucking clue I'd be making in a few months. I The Cloverfield Paradox. Wow, what a damn surprise. And this is probably one of the first times in cinematic history that a franchise such as so big as something like Cloverfield, the fact that it got announced the day of its release. And that is because it released on Netflix. <sighs> oh boy, that made me nervous as hell. Trust me, I was incredibly nervous. I had so many mixed emotions. I still have mixed emotions. I do want to talk about that a little bit. Basically, it's weird that, you know, it, to me, it's like there's no theatrical release. I cannot see this in a movie theater. That bugs the shit out of me. I had to watch it at, at home on my TV. And a lot of people be like, oh, well, who cares? It's the movie theater experience that really adds to movies. You know, I love the movie theaters. Um, and so to not have it in the cinema, it also makes it like, well, is it even good? Is it just straight to DVD quality? Because that's what Netflix essentially is. Almost just a step up from straight to DVD, basically. So it's like, is it even good? Well, I watched it. And I'm like, please, please be good. Please don't let me down because I love 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's a fantastic movie. And so, of course, I'm looking forward to the next Cloverfield movie, which was this. It was going to be in theaters, but it's not. And we had it on Netflix. And guys, <sighs> it's bad. Fuck. This movie is directed by Julius Ona. I think I said his last name right, hopefully. And then it stars Elizabeth Debicki. Fuck, man. I'm so bad with names still. Daniel Brühl. Uh, I hope I said, I'm pretty sure I said that. That's uh, that's Zemo. Uh, I've actually noticed a few of uh, the actors here are from a lot of other movies. Uh, Chris O'Dowd. There's a lot of actors in this movie. Um, actually, no, there's not a ton of actors, but there's a solid, I want to say, like six people that are on this ship. So let's explain a little bit about it. There won't be any spoilers, just minor, minor plot details. Uh, basically, this woman at first you see is with... Uh, this like her husband and all of a sudden boom she's in space and now we're in space and uh, you know something's happening I, I mean again everyone this whole the whole world went in blind seeing this movie so I want you to go in blind but like I said it has something to do with space and there's some themes in, in space and uh, you know it's space I'm not <laughs> I'm genuinely gonna be like that's it I'm not gonna tell you anything else because I want you to actually be surprised when going into this movie but God, I was surprised to say how how bad this movie was. <laughs> this is not good, and that sucks because you know what? It further puts the stigma to Netflix because I don't watch Netflix. I really don't. I don't go on Netflix. I buy my Blu-rays and all that kind of stuff like that. I don't really go on Netflix. And so when I hear uh, Netflix is making a movie or something like that, I don't really put my attention towards it. You know, that's probably not a good thing to do, but... This doesn't help its case. This was a bad movie. And it's only on Netflix. It's straight to Netflix. And it's like, this is basically like a straight to DVD, except it's streaming. You know what I mean? Like, this is essentially what that kind of movie is. And it sucks because, again, Tenklo Lane was fantastic. The characters, the, the whole tension, the environment, every the, oh, God, the, the claustrophobic uh, nature of it. It was fantastic. I loved Tenklo Lane. Cloverfield Paradox just doesn't do that at all. The characters uh, are so bland and, and, and like boring. And, and the story is just uh, okay, but you've seen it in so many different movies. I saw it last year in a way better movie, Alien Covenant, and also Life. Life actually even better. Um... <laughs> It's a shame because when watching this movie, you're going to be like, holy fucking alien. I mean, there's a lot of times you're like, holy fucking alien. I can't, that's alien. That's from fucking alien. <laughs> and like, there's so many movies that just, you could tell that they just rip straight from. And it just, it feels like so many other movies you've already seen. And it's just, uh, it's just not good, guys. And the, di the difference is like, like with something like Life. I, before I saw, when I saw Life, I've never seen an alien movie. But afterwards, I saw Aliens and stuff, and Alien, all the other Alien movies. 
And then I could see, oh yeah, life is essentially alien. However, life has really good characters. It has characters that you enjoy seeing and so you don't want them to die. So it's still added tension. There's no tension in the Cloverfield Paradox. The whole time these characters are on screen, you just don't care. You don't care about any of them. You care about some, somewhat of the main lead because of like she has a family. But other than that, you just don't care because there's no, there's nothing to them. There's nothing that makes them people. They're all just scripts, I feel like. And, and it's a shame and because you know what? They do try some little things that are actually pretty good. Like there are some, like the character deaths, anytime a character dies, they're pretty good, you know? Or like some of the little twists, the little Cloverfield kind of things, you know, it was good. I like those those sort of parts, but everything else surrounding it was bad and and painfully average. You know, it just it it's a shame because again, it's Cloverfield and I really, really like I keep stating I really, really loved Ten Cloverfield Lane. This one hurt me, guys. It hurt me. It pained me because I knew when I heard that there was a Netflix was about to get Cloverfield 3. I'm like, please, no, please don't, no, don't, 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 don't. And all of a sudden it was confirmed. And I'm like, oh shit. That means it's only going to be on Netflix. There's no theater release. And all of a sudden, now I know why. Because it's trash. <laughs> it's not even good. It's not even okay. It's not even average. It was a bad movie. Overall, I'm going to give the Cloverfield Paradox a 4 out of 10. Fuck, guys. Oh, no. Most disappointing movie in possibly years. I mean, that sucks. That sucks. I can't believe this movie was bad. I mean, it really, it really sucks. It, that hurts me, to be honest, that this movie was bad. Just, I, I was, for the longest, I'm like, I guess it's okay. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, I I gotta, I gotta be true, true to myself, man. It, it's not good. It's not good. It, it really isn't. And I just, I didn't like it. Um, I even kept forgetting the movie's name. Like right now, when I was trying to say the Cloverfield Paradox, I blanked out. I had to look it up. I forgot the name. <laughs> it's not a memorable movie. It's not a good one, guys. And it's just. What a fucking shame. What the fuck, man? Who? What happened? I want. I wish I knew the development, like what happened. Apparently there might be another Cloverfield movie this year. Hopefully it comes in the theaters. And hopefully it's good. Because as of right now, the franchise is dead to me. The only thing is 10 Cloverfield Lane. Everything, it, it's dead. Fran Cloverfield franchise is done. Um, until they can revive it with this other one if, if it's good. But for right now, it's a Netflix, it's a Netflix bomb. Fuck that shit. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? I mean, did you like it? Did you like it? Or did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below. How do you guys feel, man? I mean, it's interesting that, you know, wow, we got it out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere and it's on fucking live. You could just watch it. Crazy. But at the same time, it's bad. So... Who cares? <laughs> you know, it's, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're going to have a long lineup of bad movies. I still haven't reviewed Maze Runner, which I will uh, probably right after this. I'm going to record one um, for Maze Runner, The Death Cure. I should have had that shit up a while ago, but I'm also going to do Winchester. <laughs> That's going to be bad. A game night review, so that'll be, hopefully, I think I might do that soon. And then, um, Fifty Shades. Oh fuck! So it's gonna be a pretty bad lineup of movies. We also Peter Rabbit. Oh my god! Kill me now. <laughs> it's gonna be some bad, horrible movies. But uh, I did not expect Cloverfield Paradox to be one of the worst. Shit, man, that sucks. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.